Searching for the best performance is a lot easier than you might think. And for those of you for whom price is not a consideration, well, the world is your oyster. For most of us though, this pesky thing called value creeps in from time to time. I've done it a million times from choosing an RTX 4080 in my brand new laptop over its absurdly priced big brother to picking up the more reasonably priced complete package found in the Galaxy S23 or Pixel 7 Pro over say the S23 Ultra. I do it with cars as well. My daily driver is a 2022 GMC Sierra AT4 HD. Did the Denali look nice? Well, of course it did. But chrome accents and bling can only mean so much. In the world of action cameras, the best is generally assumed to be GoPro or DJI, and there really is not a lot of debate about that. But what if value mattered most? Well, today we've got the brand new Brave 7 from Acaso, and at $149 and packing dual color screens, an IPX8 waterproof rating, optical image stabilization, voice control, and 4K at 30 frames per second, we might be in for a surprise. That is, of course, if it goes better than the last few affordable options I tested. This price range can be a real gamble. The good news is, you don't have to guess. That is what you have me for. If you watch my channel, you know that I have reviewed several different budget action cameras. And if you go back and look at those videos, let's say the experience was terrible. I had audio issues, I had video quality issues, and in one case I had to even go in and format the files before I could drop them into my editing software. Now one of those videos was an Acaso product, so you'll imagine my surprise when Acaso reached out to me and asked me to review their new Brave 7 action camera. In the interest of full disclosure, I should tell you that this video is not sponsored by Acaso, they have not approved any of my scripts, and they are seeing this video at the same time that you are. I literally said I wouldn't do this again. I mean, seriously, another budget action camera after all that I've been through, all the pain. But quite honestly, the specs on this thing are great. Acaso offered a lightweight camera that feels much more premium than its price, has solid build quality with an IPX8 rating so it can be submerged in water. But remember, unlike IP68, it isn't officially rated for protection from dust. The removable lens cover makes cleaning the sensor easy and I spent several days at the beach with it. So I don't know, your mileage may vary shooting video from the front facing camera. I have no wind reduction on at all. This is just out of the box how it sounds. This should give you a good idea if this camera can handle the uh, sounds, the ambient noise, we can, if the microphones can isolate well. Right now I have the wind reduction and noise reduction on. Let's just say wind reduction, mm, not so much. Kind of like everything reduction, so forget that. A word about color, lighting, and video quality. Keep in mind that action cameras suck in low light. You really want perfect conditions to get the best quality, and that day at the beach wasn't even close. But I think the Brave 7 handled itself well. And again, as you watch this footage, remember that it's well under $200. The colors are pretty accurate, and saturation levels give everything a nice pop without looking like some demented cartoon scape like the last few I tried. I ran the Acaso on automatic settings for everything. It handles backlight quite well and dynamic range is good. Shadows are not a problem and contrast is acceptable without crushing blacks. There are moments of overexposure, which you can see here in the clouds in this shot, but it was pretty rare and overall I think it's acceptable. The Acaso Brave 7 is definitely a point and shoot experience right out of the box. And when it comes to stabilization, well, that's the bread and butter for action cameras and some do it really well. GoPro's Hyper Smooth is one of the best, and when it's time for mountain biking, or I simply choose to beat the living hell out of one of my cameras, GoPro is still my choice. The DJI Action 3 is also at the top of the game for stabilization, and it's currently one of only two cameras I use to film my channel. No matter the situation, I can use the Action 3 and be sure the footage is going to be silky smooth and look great. So how does a $149 action camera do? Well, good enough, and I might even say great. The Brave 7 surprised me every time I reviewed the footage. In this shot, I was literally running as fast as I could straight up a rocky trail and it didn't disappoint. So will the average consumer be happy with the footage they get? Absolutely. And I was too. 
As you know, the mission of this channel is to feature devices and use them in a way that the average consumer would. And though I have spent plenty of time making fun of and beating up budget action cameras, I have to admit, I was wrong. On the next episode, I'll have my awards for the best way to stay mobile in the first half of 2023. And I'll cover all the devices and equipment that I use to film my YouTube channel out of one single backpack. I'll tell you why I believe I've found the perfect combination for any of you who want the absolute best way to save your memories with the least amount of equipment. So please like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.